Hey there folks, I'm Ruby Juice, coming at you with some more FSN knowledge. This time around, I want to focus on how to download and install the FSN's suite of mods, both the equipment and the maps. I'm sure most people will know how to download and install mods, so this is not a video on that. The thing is, the FSN has a bunch of mods that have been tweaked to better suit the community, so I've got a few best practices to follow when you download and install this particular set. So once you get whitelisted, you'll be able to find a link to the FSN's Dropbox on the homepage after you log in. From there, you'll see a series of folders. The ones you want to focus on the first time you download the mods are the FSN Master Maps and the FSN Master Utilities. The other folders you see that say New Additions are the mods that are added during maintenance periods. So once you have all the mods downloaded and you don't need to re-download all of the mods if there are changes made, the staff team will just put the new ones or the changes in a new additions folder so you can just overwrite or download the new mods without having to go through the whole process again. So I would recommend starting by downloading the FSN Master Utilities. This one you can likely download all in one shot just by clicking on the folder and then clicking download and direct download. Now you might be tempted to just add them straight into your mod folder in the FS19 directory from here, but don't do it. Create a separate folder somewhere else on your PC and save the mods there to start with. So I've created a folder called Farming Simulator 19 and then an FSN Mods folder within that where I'm going to store the FSN Master Utilities for now. And I'll get to the reasons why that's important to do in just a minute. It's about a 3.1 gigabyte download, so depending on your internet speed, hopefully it doesn't take you too long. So once you have them downloaded, you'll need to extract the mod folders from the master utilities master zip. So I use seven zip and I just say extract to FSN master utilities. It's going to extract all those mod folder files and put them in a regular folder. Now the reason that it's so important to keep these mods and the map mods separate from the ones that you usually use in your single player or other multiplayer games is because some of them have been altered and are FSN specific. So for instance, the version of Seasons that you have, or that's available on the Giants Mod Hub, won't be the same as the one in the FSN Utilities folder. And to get onto the FSN servers, you're obviously going to need the FSN version. And the reason that they've been changed, as I said, is that there are a few things in those mods that needed to be tweaked a little bit in order to better serve the FSN community as a whole. By creating a separate folder of the FSN Master Utilities and FSN Maps, somewhere other than your mod directory, you'll be able to swap them into your mod folder whenever you want to play on the FSN servers. And then when you want to play a single player or other multiplayer save, you can just swap them back out and put your regular mods back in. This will be much easier than trying to have two versions of a mod in your mod folder so that you're compatible with multiple different people or multiple different servers. So as you can see, once I've extracted the master utilities, now I have all the different zip file folders here in that folder. And from here, I would just select all of these and I'm just gonna copy them to my mod folder. Now for the maps. I suggest downloading the maps individually. You can do multiple downloads at once, obviously, but don't download them in one massive download like we did with the master utilities. So don't use the direct download option for the maps. This is important for a couple of different reasons. One, you're able to pick and choose the maps that you see yourself wanting to pick up contracts on right off the bat. I recommend downloading the Midwest Horizon map as one of the first ones that you download, since that's the map that all of the NPC fieldwork contracts are on, which will likely be one of the main ways that you make money when you first start out in the FSN. Second, downloading all of the maps individually will reduce the risk that an error happens when you're at 19 out of 20 gigabytes downloaded or something like that. At worst, if an error happens when you're downloading one of the maps, it's just gonna be roughly a one gigabyte download to get back to where you were instead of 19. So in order to download a map individually, just click on that given map, go to the download icon here and direct download for that individual file. And then I would create another folder wherever you've stored the first set called FSN Maps. And we'll go ahead and we'll save our maps in that folder. This way, again, you'll be able to swap the map into your mod folder depending on which map you're going to play on. Obviously, you can have multiple maps, 
Some people may even want all of the maps in their mod folder. Whatever works for you, whatever your PC can handle, and whatever causes you not to have any errors or conflicts between the mods. And that is just about all you need to know about downloading and installing the FSN's mods. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the servers.